Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV Live, the live streaming newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell, joining you here today, uh, along with my guest, Mike Jonas, CEO at Light River. Mike, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank Great you. Great to see you. Yeah. Uh, normally, we, we were saying normally we see each other in person this time. Um, it's virtual, but nonetheless, nice to catch up. And, and obviously, we've, we've chatted a lot over, over the years. And um, we know here at JSA uh, about Light River. But I want to give our viewers just a little chance to, I assume most of them <laughs> have heard from you by now, but just in case there are a few that don't if you wouldn't mind uh, just giving us a little bit of background on Light River and, and also just some of the exciting uh, things that have been happening as of late. Well, for sure. Well, Light River actually just celebrated its 25th anniversary, so 1998 to, uh, to current. And we've been doing pretty much the same thing the whole time, designing, deploying, automating, and supporting carry-grade optical networks. And, and our customers are in the telco space, uh, cloud and data center, and regulated utilities. So it's a, a great bunch of folks to work with, and it continues to be fun, challenging, and rewarding. So we, we keep doing that. And uh, from an excitement point of view, most of our excitement typically um, revolves around our customer success or the success of our teammates or, or, or maybe some technology news. And I'm not sure if it quite crosses the threshold of of excitement, but my change to CEO has is, is recently been announced. And um, my commitments to our customers and people hasn't been stronger. So uh, with that focus on helping them to succeed, that's at least exciting to me, if, if not to the rest of the world. Yeah, and on that note, I mean, you've been in a, you know, a leadership role for a long time. You've been at Light River for, you know, two decades, I think you've, it's um, spanned a couple decades anyway, and and you've been in the, the role of president. What's what's new in this new CEO role for you? What excites you about it? What What's kind of on the horizon for you as you take the, the reins in this way? Yeah, you bet. And, and I kind of referenced it. I mean, our people are our superpower and, and they have been. And so in this role, I have more and, and better ways to help them to help themselves. And, uh, and our customers and our partners. And, and that's fun, rewarding and exciting to me. I mean, we built our brand on getting our customers promoted and not fired. And uh, with the support of our equity partners at Grain Management, we're, we're able now to expand the ways, means uh, and places uh, we can help our clients grow. And, and all of that's gonna be great for the people inside and outside the company. Yeah, and I know, I mean, you've talked about the the team and I mean, as you said, there's been so many great things done over the years uh, at, at Light River and, and your predecessor, uh, Glenn Johansson, has has had put a lot in, in motion. And, and so can you talk about that in, in terms of what you're building upon from, uh, you know, what's been worked on to date and, and what you see the future to be? Yeah, I yeah, know it's a great question. The, uh, you know, the foundation of Light River has been built on trust and engineering, which is a pretty rock solid platform to launch from. And uh, obviously we all live in a world today where the shortage of skilled technical workers is real and, and getting worse in, in every market where we participate. And we've been routinely asked to recommend innovative options for practical network automation for network operations and services support, in, in addition to our historical support for uh, design, deploy and automate. And you know, that is um, something that we're going to answer the call on. I mean, you're seeing greater investments in, in SaaS based network operations and monitoring along with network services options that continue after we've delivered a network. That's what our customers believe is going to help them to grow faster. And that's an extension of the white glove service we've always provided that you'll see uh, much more from Light River in the marketplace. And you'll, you'll additionally see an increased collaboration with our sister companies in the grain portfolio, especially as it relates to broadband, obviously much in the news. And um, that will become a greater focus for us. And, and you'll see more uh, expansion for us in international network delivery as well. So I'm, I'm curious, I mean, you talk a lot about um, the demands of your or customers and how you're meeting those needs. I'm curious as you sort of look ahead, what trends you're seeing that even now um, and and into the future are are driving some of those demands. So driving the demand at the base level is just the explosion of bandwidth. 
uh, being consumed by everybody. So that is that is the basic premise. Um, how do you solve that problem? Well, the move from legacy optical to MPLS is underway in every sector and is accelerating, uh, not uh, lessening. And the value of white glove technical support in that area is highly valid, valued, especially post COVID. Um, but what other uh, solutions are we seeing to, to the problem? Uh, we've seen a huge shift to open and disaggregated networking, uh, basically a mix and match of line systems, transponder switches, routers, 400 ZR plugs from any vendor, whichever is available and best suited to the business case coming onto the market and becoming real and usable and beneficial. And with that multi-vendor, multi-domain network, our customers need automation to match and support to um, take full advantage of that automation. And uh, that's even for us now being followed in the near term by production ready features coming out of AI for certain applications. And I guess uh, the other thing we're seeing a lot more of is because of the shortage of, of skilled workers, uh, a lot more um, benefits being recognized from the ecosystem as to collaboration, and everything as a service world. No one can do everything themselves, not Light River, not our customers, not our vendors. And many, I think the ones who are evolving most quickly are stopped trying to do so. And um, joint contributions that are built on trust and innovation and service can move mountains. And that will help us, uh, you know, meet the bell as it comes to what can seem to be an insurmountable increase in bandwidth. Yeah, I mean, so Mike, your plate was already full. I feel like it's it's more so now. Uh, and, but I wanted to personally say congratulations to you and uh, to the whole uh, Light River team for the, the steps forward here. Congratulations on your, your new role, um, in addition to the, the role that you've already been playing there. So we look forward to hearing more from you. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. We tend to see each other. We do. From time to time. Um, and I know there's another another series of events happening in the fall. So Probably we'll see you out and about. Um, but for our viewers who may want to, you know, maybe see you at, at one of those events or or to catch up with you online, how can they do that? Well, there are multiple events where you can meet Light River. Um, certainly the the upcoming events at Fiber Connect next week. Yeah. We'll be at Encompass. We'll be at Nanog. There's any number of events where our customers ask for our support. We'll be there. But at any time, LightRiver.com is a great place to get bit more familiar with us and, and the team that supports um, supports you all. And then our, our LinkedIn page is also uh, usually pretty helpful in that. Yeah. Mike, thank you so much. Uh, it's always a pleasure to catch up. Again, congratulations. Um, we'll be talking to you again soon. And to our viewers, uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you again soon. Uh, keep tuning in to JSA TV Live and be sure to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter so you can stay on top of the latest industry news and events and uh, hear all the great things that are happening in our industry. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day, Mike. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you all again soon. Thanks, Barb. Thanks, everyone.